Hello! Today I'll be telling you everything you need to know for the Jack 2 PS5 port. I'll be listing the pros and cons and testing the hardware to see how fast the game runs. I'm using a PAL PS5, which has heaps of changes in-game compared to an NTSC PS5. On PAL, Jack 2 is 3.47 gigabytes, and it's 23 Australian dollars with the bundle being 60. As soon as I turned on Jack 2, I was immediately welcomed by this intro sound. This happens throughout the whole game, but it's not as noticeable as that. On my PS5, it says Jack 2 Renegade, but on the NTSC version, they remove the word Renegade, so it just says Jack 2. As soon as I started moving, I noticed the game's camera directions were swapped from its original directions. So I went to the developer notes, and they didn't tell you what the button combination was. So I tried up on the D-pad and R3 like in Jack 1, but that also didn't work. I went to the internet and the info on there didn't work for me either. After some confusion from viewers and I, Snee, Burke, Maverick and I worked out that it's L1 and L3 for PAL and up on the D-pad and R3 for NTSC. You have to press them at the same time while in-game. Why did the devs make it this complicated? Who really knows? The game puts you in 16x9, chopping off 25% of the original game, and the center screen button does nothing. Jack slides on the floor while standing still, the game has 8 directional inputs which gets up to 16 when you walk faster, which isn't as devastating as Jack 1, because most of the time you're on a jet board or in a vehicle which doesn't have the direction lock or sliding. The biggest problem with this port is the textures. These bugs are seriously in your face, from Haven to Haven Forest. To water. To crew. To the final boss. On NTSC, some of the textures like crew and final boss were fixed, but if you are on PAL then good luck. Jack's fingers freak out when you start moving, and the legs on the Titan suit freak out when you jump, which looks very funny. Debug and the hover glitch still work, and the unused orb and the dev pick are still in the game. The graphics are upscaled and look amazing, but not as amazing as the PS3, where the company Mass Media Inc. upscaled textures in the game, making it look a lot better than an upscale from the PS2. The game goes from looking amazing to looking like a pixelated mess when these things happen. You paused the game. Looked into the mirror. Looked at a reflection of a light, portal, or water. All of it, and we'll deal a body blow to the Baron. You're sending us in, tough guy! So what's with this, we'll deal a body blow stuff? That's fine. I want the Baron to know that it's me. Have the full screen pixelated when you turn on mirror mode. Have the full screen pixelated when you play an underwater level like Underport. At this point, I'm starting to question if they playtested this game. The main thing I was not happy about was how laggy the game was on PS4. But thankfully, on PS5, the lag has been the lowest it's ever been. I barely noticed it. The PS2 couldn't handle weather very well, and the PS4 couldn't handle effects and entities very well. But on PS5, I was moving around smoothly through rain, lightning, and with things exploding. Except Praxis. That was a bit laggy for some reason. While on this topic, a recent discovery from Sneaky Turtle with Jack 1 lag on the PS5 was found. The lag is completely gone when loading a new level, but the PS5 actually adds more lag than PS2 or 4 while playing the level itself. It sounds like there's some weird inconsistent speeds when it comes to different parts of some games. Who really knows?
Now let's see how fast the load times are. This game definitely has its cons, the worst being the texture glitches, but its biggest pro of smooth gameplay and very low lag felt amazing, which is why I would recommend Jack 2 on the PS5 to you guys. Big thumbs up from me. I would like to give a huge thanks to my main man, Burke Maverick, for providing me with some PS4 footage and knowledge, and Sneaky Turtle and Sneep. Links to the Twitch will be in the description.